Hello everyone, welcome to First Good Academy. Today we are going to meet an exciting racing game in Scratch Junior. In this project, I will have Greek animal characters that will run a race. One animal character will be a player where it will only move when you tap on it. So for my project, I have selected the rabbit to be my player character. So when I click on the green flag, I have to tap on the rabbit really fast. And right now the bird says that they have one. So let's go ahead and see how we can program this project. And to start off with the project, let's create a new project. So first I'm going to create my racing screen. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the cat. And now I need to add my background. So I'm going to click on the background option and I'm going to select the farm where my race is going to happen. Next, I'm going to add my three animal characters, which is the rabbit, frog, and a bird. I'm going to select a rabbit. And I'm going to place the rabbit in the starting position. Next, I'm going to add a bird. And finally, I'm going to add a Now I'm going to draw my finishing line as a character. So I'm going to click on the character plus sign and I'm going to select a new character and I'm going, I'm going to select on the paint option. Here I'm going to draw my finishing line. So first I'm going to select the thickness. And then I'm going to select the rectangle option. And next, I'm going to select the color of my finishing line. So I'm going to go ahead with the red. Next, I'm going to draw a long rectangle like that. And I'm going to click on the paint option and fill it. Once I have drawn my finishing line, I'm going to click on the tick. Now the finishing line is a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to click on the looks code blocks and I'm going to bring the grow block for now. Next, I'm going to keep on tapping the grow block till I get the correct size for my finishing line. That should be it. Next, I'm going to place my finishing line at the end of the screen like that. Good. Now I'm going to delete the grow block. All right. Next, I'm going to add three more backgrounds, which is going to represent each animal when they have one. So I'm going to add one background and I'm going to select the farm background again. And I'm going to delete the cat. The second background would be the winning background for my rabbit character. So I'm going to click on the character option and I'm going to add the rabbit. And I'm going to place at the Corner. Next, I'm going to add another backdrop and I'm going to delete the cat. And next, I'm going to change the background again. And this would be the winning screen for my frog character. So I'm going to add a frog and then place it on the corner. Next, I'm going to add my last winning background that is for the bird. 
Let's delete the cat. Next, I'm going to add the farm. And I'm going to add my book. Now, once we have designed our racing screen and our winning screens, let's go ahead and code it. So I'm going to click back on my first backdrop. So first I will program the code blocks for my frog character. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the frog character. Okay. Next I'm going to my yellow blocks, which is my event blocks. Next I'm going to bring my block call when the green flag is clicked. Next, I'm going to give a movement where the frog is going to be the slowest in the race. I'm going to go ahead and click on the orange block, which is my control block. And next, I'm going to bring the speed code block. The speed code block has three speed options. So I'm going to click on the little arrow and I'm going to click on the very first motion, that is the slowest speed. Next, I'm going to program the number of steps that the frog should take in order to win the race. So I'm going to click on the movement blocks, that is the blue code blocks. Next, I'm going to bring the code block, that is move to a still right hand side. I'm going to bring this block. The number below this block indicates how many steps that the frog should move towards the right hand side. So I'm going to change this number to be 16 so that the frog takes 16 steps towards the right hand side. Next, I'm going to bring the end block, which is the red block, to stop the movement of my frog. Next, I'm going to repeat the same instructions for the bird and the rabbit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the bird. Next, I'm going to go to my event blocks so that when I click on the green flag, the bird should start moving. So I'm going to bring the, when the green flag is clicked. Next, I'm going to give the instructions that the bird should move 16 steps towards the right hand side. So I'm going to bring the movement block and I'm going to change the number of steps. And finally, I'm going to bring the end block. All right, now I'm going to program the code block for the rabbit. The rabbit would only move when we tap on it. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the event block that is called when the character is clicked. Next, I'm going to tell how many steps the cat, the rabbit should move when we tap on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the movement blocks and I'm going to bring the block move towards the right hand side. So I'm going to keep it one so that every time when I tap on the rabbit, it would move one step. To finish up the code, I'm going to my end blocks and I'm going to bring the end code block. All right. Now once we have finished the movement blocks for the rabbit bird and the frog, next we need to instruct what would happen for each animal character when they reach the finishing line? So I'm going to go ahead and start with the frog again. When an animal character has bumped with the finishing line, it would be identified that they have reached the finishing line. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the event block card when the character is collided with. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the event block. Once the frog have bumped with the finishing line, it should open up the third winning screen. So I'm going to go to my end blocks 
And I'm going to bring the third block that is called. Open up the third screen. Same goes for my bird character and the rabbit character. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the bird character and I'm going to bring and I'm going to click on the yellow green blocks and I'm going to drag in when the character is found. Next, I'm going to the end blocks and I'm going to bring the fourth screen, which is the winning screen for my bird. Lastly, I'm going to code for the rabbit character. So I'm going to give the event when the rabbit collided with the finishing line. It should open up the second backdrop, which is the winning screen for my rabbit. So once we have created the code blocks for the animals in the running screen, so let's go ahead and program the characters at each winning screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first winning screen, which is the rabbit. So when the screen is open, the rabbit should say, I have won, and it should start to move from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the event blocks, and I'm going to play when the green flag is clicked. Next, I'm going to the motion blocks and I'm going to bring move right and I'm going to change the number of steps to be five. Next, I'm going to the looks block that is the purple color blocks and I'm going to bring the save code block. Here, I'm going to type the message that the rabbit would be saying to be, I won the race. Finally, I'm going to bring the end block to finish the code. All right, so we are going to repeat the same code blocks for each and every character in their respective winning screens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the third screen, which is the winning screen for the frog. And I'm going to add the event block. And then I'm going to give the instructions that it should move five steps towards the right hand side. And then it should say, I have won the race. So I'm going to click on the looks block the purple color blocks and I'm going to drag in the save block. Here I'm going to type the message I want the race and finally I'm going to drag in the end block. Lastly let's program the code for the bird. I'm going to drag in the event block. Next, I'm going to drag in move towards the right hand side where I'm going to change the number of steps to be five. Next, I'm going to the looks block and I'm going to bring the say block. And here I'm going to change the message to be I want the race. Finally, I'm going to drag in the end block. Awesome. Now we have code the running race king in Scott Junior. So go back onto screen one and click on the green flag and tap really fast so that the rabbit wins. But right now, the bird won the game. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this project and click on the subscribe button to get more updates on new tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.